On today's vlog, we tackle the rain. What? I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of ugly out. A little rainy and wet, but start our day off right. Another one of my favorite little local spots here. What's kind of handy is with Starbucks not being able to like open up shops everywhere here, we get a lot more local independent people. And I think that's cool. That Snapchat filter though, hey? Ooh, that's Megan. Creepy, creepy Megan. Megan's actually coming to meet me this morning, which is sweet. I have a few minutes together. I'm gonna try and hammer out some meals before that. Then we'll hang out for a bit before we'll start tackling the day. I have large eyebrows. Yeah. Large eyebrows. All right. I came in, and when I knew you would just get a black coffee, I splurge and spend your money, and I get a London Fog and a beautiful cinnamon bun this morning. Look at that cinnamon bun. That thing is crazy. <laughs> and it's as good as it looks, honestly. It glistens, glistens in the sun, in the rain. It glistens in the rain. <laughs> See you guys later. We're gonna hang out. Heading Bye. out into the rain. Good coffee, my love. Have a good day. See you later. I can't find my keys. Can you walk out of the shop, please? That'll look more authentic. Okay, just Let walk. What? Yeah, okay, go. Bye. Bye. We now go from one coffee shop to another coffee shop for another meeting. If it seems like I go to a lot of coffee shops, it's because I do. All right. All right. Well, it's past lunchtime, but I haven't had any lunch. You might be thinking to yourself, why are you at Home Depot? Well... Because I like Subway. And when we talk about lunches under $5, you can get lunch there for under five bucks. If you don't get a drink or soup. Italian on herb and cheese, lettuce, tomato, black olives, mayo, and sub sauce. That's where Subway is at. I love every time I get to come here. Hey. Hello! <laughs> now going for my third coffee meeting of the day. Problem is I had my one good strong cup of coffee in the morning. And I didn't need the second one, and I certainly don't need a third one, so find something else. All right, we're here at Recharge. This is uh, just off Broad Street, but it's like this really cool little spot where they're making like vegan, gluten-free, amazing stuff, and he just gave me the weirdest drink in the world. Okay, come tell me about this drink. All right, what do we got here? So you've got a cold steep green tea and mint tea blend. Okay. with some chia seeds that have gelatinized and just add a little bit of nutrition to your refreshing beverage. Whoa. If you don't like floaties in your drink, this is not for you. Well, today we've got some really tasty uh, coconut yam stew. Ooh. Yes. Coconut so we've got and some yams. Yams blended out with vegetable broth, some caramelized onions, a few carrots, and there's some celery, some onion, We've got a couple different ways to do business. One is on a recurring order, so with subscriptions you can come in and load up your fridge at home, 
prepare your lunches for the week ahead. You know, have extra food around so at night you're not dipping for the potato chips. <laughs> that's and, me. Um, I'm a salty salads. snack fiend. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you want to look for something that's nutrient dense rather yeah. than something that's marginal food quality, yeah. right? And so that's where I come in. Bottoms up. Hmm. Hmm. I grew up on a lot of really weird health food, so this is much better than my mother's homemade veggie burgers. Getting some supper here. Sticky rice, yam stew. Smells good. Look you guys, we got supper, full supper. That place is super cool. You know what we're talking about? Lunches for five bucks? This like little thing with sticky rice and this yam stew, 550. And honestly, probably like one of the healthiest things based on the smell, it's gonna be awesome. But if you're in Regina, you wanna check this place out. It is uh, Broad Street. I'll put the address right here. You can check it out. I'm not just saying this, this is awesome. This is the like yam stew thing with sticky rice and lentils and zucchini and carrots. Like I'm not, I don't know, like I like to eat healthy, but this, I would totally eat all the time. And we have dinosaurs, okay? We got this guy, and I think this guy lights up. Batteries are done. A lizard? Mm -hmm. All right, show them us, show us. Wow. It is like sunny and raining out here. I wonder if you can see this. Seems like a good time to do some Q&A. Why don't we do that? We got three kids in bed. Sit right here and do it. Roll intro. <laughs> First question is from Zach. He says, what elementary and high school did you go to? I was actually homeschooled for the first, well, grades one to grade six. And I got ahead and then I went back for grade eight to Harvest City here in Regina. That's where I graduated from. Max asks, what got you into videos slash YouTube? Just looking for something creative to do and an excuse to buy more gear. What camera do you use? Panasonic G7. Uh, question here, I don't have the name, sorry. Uh, what did you do to make good vlogs and get this many subs? Um, well, I guess I've got lots of experience with, I don't know, marketing, social media. Maybe that helped me with subscribers. Honestly, I paid money on ads to help get it out there. And good vlogs. I don't know, practicing at video, knowing a little bit about story. I like being in front of the camera and generally feel comfortable. I don't know, maybe that helps. Nikki asks, my question is, what is the best and worst part about being a foster parent? The best part is I don't know, just seeing these kids do things that they're not supposed to do or succeed where they're not supposed to succeed. The hardest part by far is when you bring a kid into your home and you love them like they're your own child and then they have to go. It's heart-wrenching. No person should have to go through that, but it's part of it and you gotta do it. Dan asks, what's your favorite place to dine out in a YQR? My favorite place is the Wascana Golf and Country Club because it usually means that I played a round of golf there and their food is fantastic. What's coffee, I'm trying to read this reversed. What's coffee beverage is your fave do you recommend? Um, my favorite is a Cortado from 33 and a third if we're talking about Regina here. Rylan asks, what's your favorite aspect of Regina? The people. It's gotta be the people. I mean, there's actually more stuff to do that I'm discovering, but still the people. Liam asks, on a scale of one to 10, how much do you like Netflix? Six. Riley asks, what is your favorite part about living in Regina? What made you decide to start blogging, vlogging? Love your videos, it was awesome to see someone local. Thank you. 
Favorite part about living in Regina? I already answered that. What made you decide to start blogging slash vlogging? Um, I guess I saw somebody else vlogging and I thought it was pretty cool. And so I thought I might try it. So I just tried it. Al asks, have you ever been to Wonderland Arcade? Great place for vintage arcade. You know what? I actually haven't, which is crazy. And I really have meant to go and want to go. I just haven't been yet, but maybe we'll go there and vlog. All right, that's it for today's q and I don't know if you can hear a child screaming and crying behind me. Gotta go take care of that. So that's it. Sorry, me again. I'm gonna be eating this all the time. Oh my gosh.